Well, if you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. Because there's a million things to be, you know that there are. And if you want to live high, live high. And if you want. This is what it looks like outside today. Completely overcast. It's about 28 degrees and slight wind still coming out of the northwest. Great training, great prepping to return to the AT. Freezing cold, windy, snowy. But I love it. I'm going to look forward to it. I'm going to make, make the best of it. I'm going to find the positiveness in the situation. All right, let me get started, folks. Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to rural America, baby. This is rural America. There ain't nothing out here but ice and snow, trees. What? I'm coming to America. Today, he's coming to America. Today, I'm coming to the Appalachians. Today, he's coming to America. Little shout out to ND and those initials ND do have a uh, double meaning. And if you were paying attention to my hike last season, if you know what two things the initials ND stand for, put it in the comments below. If you think you know, blow in the comments. I'm coming to America today. I'm coming to America. Today, I'm coming to the Appalachians. Today. <laughs> yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Wilton Ghost on the Appalachian Trail. Whoop, whoop. This is uh, prep hike number two. We've already gone about uh, probably like four and a half miles. And uh, I'm, still, I'm still chugging. But like I said, uh, like I said yesterday, you know, I'm definitely feeling it, you know, from yesterday. Definitely feeling the uh, aches and pains. But uh, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing good. You know, I'm feeling, I feel strong, and uh, you know, I feel it deep down. So, same as yesterday, it's about uh, 28 degrees, slight breeze out of the northwest still. It's, uh, it is definitely very cold, and uh, I've got my merino wool buff pulled up over the back of my head and my classic AG Montane beanie on, because so my ears just, man, they were just freezing yesterday, so I had to figure something out to cover up the old ears, so uh, this is working great, this is working great so far, so problem solving, uh, give me an A on the problem solving. So, I'm uh, probably got to try to go another, uh, oh, geez, probably four, maybe five more miles and uh, see, how, see how I feel. So, all right, everybody. Check you later. Hope you're all watching this because I'm, uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, everyone. Check you later. Mmm, yummy. AG's favorite flavor cliff bar. Peanut butter banana. 
Yum, yum, delish. I'm just taking a little break here. Um, it's definitely uh, been a very, very cold afternoon here in upstate New York. Uh, but it's all good, though. It's all good. Here are Rural America. Look at that. Man, there ain't just nothing here, man. Rural America, baby. See ya. Well, I got to report to you that that there really is humanity uh, just about everywhere you go. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I should have took a picture of them, but people came by and actually dropped me off some food. Look at that. Some granola bars, some awesome mountain trail mix, a couple of waters. I mean, that's just awesome. Complete strangers. You know, just very friendly. So uh, as I was saying, folks dropped me off that food. They were just, man, they were just so friendly. Just want to give a, give a big AG, a woke and go shout out to the folks who just dropped me off some food uh, out here on the corner of uh, 17 and Nichols. Uh, that was awesome, man. I really appreciate that a lot. And that just that just made my that just made my whole day. So hey, thanks a lot. And this one's for you guys. And I, I really do appreciate it. Down that water, water was excellent. And uh, scarf down them granola bars. So hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Thank you. On the uh, about the last mile and a half, and then I'll be uh, back home again. So, like I said, welcome to rural America. Little AG 360 action for my nieces, Sasha and Cosette. Here we go, 360 action. This is what I see. This is what I see. This is what I see. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed that. AG out. All right, everybody. Uh, All right. I'm on the last the last mile to go and uh, yeah it's uh, definitely uh, feeling it for for sure last mile is a mile steep uphill actually all the way all the way home as our house is on summit so but it's wanted to you know film you know, film this little segment. You know, I'm definitely you know, a little bit tired, and um, uh, my legs are, are are definitely feeling it for sure. Um, I think total, probably total miles for the day has been around probably between six and seven or so. It's almost six, six o'clock at night here. Uh, the temperature has definitely dropped. It's now about uh, 22 degrees. With that continued stiff, frigid wind coming out of the northwest. And uh, but I'm I'm good though. You know I'm good. You know it's a good tired, and it's a good pain. I don't know, does that make sense? It's a good pain. I don't know. Does that make sense? I'm not sure, but I'm not sure how else to explain it. You know. You know, like I said yesterday, you know, you know, do the work. You know, no excuses, do the work. Put the work in. So, 
that's what I'm doing. You know, if I want to get back to the trail and complete this dream, then I got to work hard for it. And I got to train hard for it. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. But, yeah. So, but you go at a good pace, though. My pace is good. There's my uh, spot. Gen 3 doing its thing. Tracking AG live. So my folks know where I'm at. Or my close friends and family know. You know, that little generator is worth its weight in gold for sure. It's just an invaluable tool to add to your kit. So at least that's that's my opinion, it's my personal opinion, and obviously a personal choice to carry um, a transponder, whether it be an inReach or a spot. So, all right. All right, I gotta go.